Hello my fellow freaks, I'm Eldaka of Little the Chaotic Freak, and welcome back to Dungeons Dragons Online with Colt and Seth. Say hi guys. Hello. Hi guys. Uh, Seth's voice is currently quiet because he has some new earbuds, so uh, we're going to have to deal with that, but that's okay. So something cool before we begin, um, I have uh, messed with OBS a bit, and now I have uh, uh, it to where it's only capturing Firefox, nothing else. Like you guys can see the windows. Like if I have OBS open or Skype open or whatever, you guys can't see it, which is really nice. Um, it means we can send messages in Skype without you guys seeing the full names and whatnot. And also means that I can do other cool things um, that are not listed in the chat that you guys do not see. <laughs> Let's clear that real quick. Anyway, Colt, would you like to start us off? Yes. Last time our heroes fought a whole bunch of OTUGs, found a pile of gold underground, and escaped the vortex with some help from the uh, Deer Centaur tribe. We are never going back. They are now making their way to the city of Tempest to help clear Nemea's name. On their way, however, so Nemea scary. noticed something approaching from the distance. A black dragon, seemingly coming back for its gold. Right, the orange sign Amos stole, but Nemea did not. Mm-hmm. Yes, and so we start off with <clears throat> a little something. What the? Who's calling him? Nemea, there's a flash of light next to you, and suddenly appearing. Wait, yeah. Yeah. wait, hang what on. What the hell? Come on, Vale. What? Not yet. Oh. Dirk. Where? where Kyle. Did he this time. Dirk. Huh? Wait, what just happened? Wait, where did he come from? Nemea. Wait, where are we? What's happening? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> I I was more focused on the fact there was a sound of, of a Skype calling someone rather than what Colt was saying, so I have no idea who was where and what's going on. Dirk appears next to you. <laughs> Just right next to me? In, in the strange shimmering portal, Veil on his back. What? Veil bursts up a hairball. What? What? Oh, hi guys, how you doing? What? That's what Nemea is saying, she's going, what? What? <laughs> what? Huh? Yeah, uh, bell has been doing this for a while. I think I think he's hitting puberty or something. <laughs> kind of displacing me in all sorts of places. Well. Anyway, with that surprising revelation out of the way, the black dragon gets closer and closer. Oh yeah, anything there... else before it lands? Oh yeah, the by the way, dirt. around you are uh, fleeing into the forest. By the way, Dirk, um, Ormstein Amos stole money from a dragon, and now that dragon wants to kill us. He deserved it, Ormstein says. It's a black dragon. They steal everything. She glares at him. How come I can't hear anyone here? <laughs> um, wait, can you not hear us? Well, I can hear you through... Through... Well... Through, through my computer. <laughs> yeah. What? I really um, okay, everyone, uh, we're gonna take a quick break while we figure this out. <laughs> I don't think I can turn it up anymore. Wait, Kyle, you're at Colt's house? You came out of nowhere. No, I'm at his. And, uh... Why are you at his house? Uh, uh, he has Vale on his back. He mentioned something about Vale being a puberty. I am twice. so confused! And there's the black dragon coming for us. If you're confused, I just got that whole speech in stereo. <laughs> Alright. Anyway... Okay, so, welcome, okay, everyone, welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons with Colt, Seth, and Kyle. Say hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, where, where were we? <laughs> the black dragon draws ever closer. Yeah, What's Nemea is dragon? currently, yep, Nemea is currently a gay mad at Ornstein again for the fact that he stole the gold from the dragon. It's like... Ornstein, you literally judged a dragon based on what he was, and, uh, and now we're all in trouble because of it. You're trying to get us killed, aren't you? They're all evil! She goes, not all tieflings are evil, you know. Well, their tieflings aren't black dragons. Because it's the same thing! No, they're not. One's a dragon, one's a half eaten. What did I teleport into? You teleport in. You, tel you teleport into a soap opera. Oh, hi, Dirk. Hi, Ornstein. And oh, by the way, guys, yes. because of the because of Colt and Kyle are right next to each other in real life, there's a huge echo going on. Okay. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hello. Sure. To make it easier, I'll mute my mic. Okay. okay. 
Okay. Speak. Someone speak. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, anyway, as y'all continue this uh, arguing, the black dragon, this gold banter, <laughs> uh, comes down and plops right in front of you. Hey, Kyle, you should also mute your speakers as well. So uh, mute everything on your end, Kyle. It's not a mic operating. You unplugged your mic, but there's a mic on the computer that's still oh, on my books. Mm. Mute yourself on Skype. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Anyway, you ne you you can now all see a young black dragon fall down into the clearing in front of you and look look all of you over, sniffing the air. I like how me and Dirk are yelling at each other, or me and Dirk are talking. He's he appeared right next to me, but I'm as far away from Dirk as possible right now. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's more accurate. The dragon slowly steps forward. Oh, Amos wants Keith. Um, <laughs> Nemea, do you speak Draconic? Uh, I believe so, yes. Let me go confirm that in my character sheet that I totally have open right now. That is totally something I, I have. Shit, I am so rusty. I need to get that open myself. Yeah, we're all just... We're all... Yeah. It's been a couple weeks for all of us, honestly. Come on, where's the maze thing? There it is. <clears throat> I've got it, I think. Give me time. I will get back in the swing of things. Forgive me. It's fine. Mercy. Right. Show mercy! <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I forgot my languages aren't listed in here for some reason. Hmm, I wonder whose fault that is. Um, I believe that she knows, yeah, she knows uh, Common, Infernal, and uh, Draconic, I believe, yes. Okay. Alright. It says, The of us. And she goes, and what is mine? Okay. Ooh. To be fair, not all of us did. And second of all, it needs to be given back. He glares over at you. I want more than what you just stole. I smell the riches on all of you. Throw down your weapons and arms, and I might let you live. I don't know what riches you smell on me. I mean, maybe you smell Vale, but... He turns towards you, Derek, looking closely up and down, and he spies the new hilt at your back. What an interesting weapon there. Oh, this? No, don't mind that. Uh, no, it's nothing. Throw it down before me, and I might let you live. Ornstein uh, elbows Nemea. See, I told you, they're all super greedy. She goes, yeah, he, he goes, yeah, we also stole, well, you got, you and Amos stole everything that he had. Well, a lot of what he had. The black dragon looks over at Ornstein and then Amos. Lila's in the back, like, kind of a hand on her short sword, ready to strike, looking at all y'all. You were the Theos who stole. But you helped them, didn't you, demon woman? <laughs> what did y'all do this time? I didn't, I didn't do anything. Well, okay, I, I started to, but then I realized that it was going to be a bad thing, so I stopped. And you read it on us just now. We could have lied our way out of this. I cannot hear what you said, Amos. I'm calling you a rat. <laughs> she goes, I'm trying to get us out of this alive! I'm gonna uh, do this and make him scared. Hey, presence. Uh, wisdom saving throw against your warlock save DC. What's your DC? Also, uh, he needs to be within 10 feet of you, so you'd have to approach. Alright, I'll, I'll approach. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Maybe we can talk this out. Wait, does it yeah, say that's, the mayor, that's what the mayor's thinking! Does it say 10 feet away? Yes, it does say 10, 10 foot cube. cube. 10 foot so cube. it has to be two squares away oh, from you. Oh, I see. Within two squares, so you'd have to somehow move closer. Um, as you... I'm run. gonna move closer full, slowly, I mean. Slowly. Yeah. Um, roll deception. Okay. Um, Just to try and look nonchalant. Can I roll tackle? Please do. It, it's a large dragon. Deception 25. 25. Um, you, you make yourself as nonchalant as possible, uh, like pretending you're going to do 
to actually give up the gold. And then <laughs> you activate your fate. Hold on, you need one. You need one more square closer. He's fifteen feet away. There you go. There we go. All right, and now I will roll his wisdom save. Um, can I do uh, charm instead of fear? You're gonna you're gonna cast charm. <laughs> uh, yeah, do the charm for it instead of the fear. All right. Uh, click on charm for me, please. Oh, no. Or no, char the charming part of fate presence. Okay. I don't know how to. It's All insane. right. Uh, what's your DC? I think it's 15. It's should it be caster level, but actually, I think but, it's I think it's a uh, 10 plus the level of the spell. Uh, it's on your spells page. 15. Does it adjust with my level then? 15. Um, it adjusts with your proficiency bonus. Still mm, say a 15, nice. and he got he rolled a nine plus six. He just passes. Yes. <clears throat> You attempt to charm me, warlock. Then you will be my first meal. And I He's gonna suddenly jump, jump forward, so she can say, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's being stupid. Please ignore him completely. Roll, roll persuasion with disadvantage. <laughs> I'm trying here. <laughs> Dirk is just bowing his head. Uh, persuasion. Mm. Persuasion, no. Oh. Insight check. Uh, done. She's being honest, so she wants him to ignore him. He gets him. Sorry, he rolled a 9 plus 3. Okay, <laughs> she's real quick. She's gonna say, We can easily give you a gold plus some if you'll just leave us alone. I want more than what you took. Roll initiative. I just said we can give you more than that! Alright. Alright. Initiatives. I just said. I don't think this dragon listens to reason, Nemea. Oh, okay, well that can be the dragon. I did- I have Nemea selected, stupid turn tracker thing! First trying to talk oh, wait, no, to I don't. the oh, my. trash my monsters, bad. now it's trying to talk that to was the my dragon. Bad. Okay, sorry, I'm working without a mouse here. Yeah, hang on, can I redo my- you want to just redo my initiative real quick since I didn't have her uh, selected? Nah. Okay. Uh, seven, uh, yeah. I'll add that. I'll just add that. I wasn't sure if it mattered or not. I thought I had it selected. No, enter. Got nineteen. Dude. Yep. Uh, Dirk got a seventeen. And then, so, 14 for Lila. So in this moment, Dirk is just going to uh, look at you guys, trying to, uh, you know, persuade this dragon to say, so, what actually happened? Hey, yes. most of your turn. We came across a uh, we came across like a thing that was buried in the ground with these trash monsters in it. We killed the trash monsters, and then uh, we saw all skull. We started taking it. We realized it belonged to a dragon, so I put it back. And then Orange side and Amos side take as much as they could. <laughs> Garbage. Great. So yeah. Amos, your the turn. Them still like around Dude, just a second, I'm trying to. I'm trying to read. Is there a way to meet? Is, I'm trying to read uh, Thunderstep. I don't know what the range is. Oh, within five feet of me. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna take my free step, and then I'm gonna cast Thunder. Then I'm gonna cast uh, Thunderstep. Don't worry about it. There's no secrets on my screen right now. Okay, so Thunderstep. And then I'm gonna take. Nemea with me. Wait, what? Like, I'm gonna teleport her with me. Okay, where to? Um, and can you click on the spell? Hmm. Understep. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna teleport here. Okay. That's fine. Okay, that hits. Roll down. And, it, and it's a. So I can move over here. 
Yeah. Con save. Con is one. Wait, why am I in front of you now? Ooh, we got 13. I just pointed six. here and said this is where I'm going to teleport. Oh. Okay. Wait, so I'm not being uh, teleported? He makes a save, so he takes. So, wait, so I, I'm actually here now? He takes seven damage. Okay. All right. Um, is that all, Amos? Yep. All right, then. Sure. And can I get uh, Keith? By the way, just uh... oh, I'll put Keith on the board. Sorry. All right, thank you. That's fine. All right. There he is. Cool. Okay, Dirk. There's no dragon bearing down on you. So what did what did Amos just do? He teleported away. Yeah. Well, he teleported back behind you because they were right in front of the dragon. Okay. Um. <clears throat> well, I look to Vale and I say, Vale. Displaced. Try not to send us somewhere else, please. You are currently displaced. And then. Veils and trees, it's probably teenage years. <laughs> I look at the dragon and I say, You wanted to see this uh, special blade, huh? Fine, I'll give you a nice close up look. And I unsheathe the new katana. The Karen katana, yes. Yes. And what does it look like? Know, what does it look like? Yeah. It looks like um, this case it has a purple hilt with a uh, very crystalline looking uh, shimmering blade. Very straight, but kind of curves off a little bit uh, as it goes down the edge. Mm -hmm. And it has uh, seven protrusions that come out the back. Mm -hmm. Um, that are also laid in it. Okay. This is the sword that was forged from the horn of Ian Ra, the Kirin. All right. I'm gonna use Hunter Smart on him too. Bing. Okay. Why am I not a full health? All right. Roll the Kirin katana. Colt, didn't we recover all our spells and health from the last fight? Yes. Why am I not at full health? You should be. Uh, put yourself at full health. I'm going to. Hi. <clears throat> 16. Does not hit. Ting, it, it, oh, I have too much health. Whoops. You, you swing at its head and it just barely ducks. You take off the tip of its horn without a, without issue. You're just like, I only have um, 51. The dragon looks a little bit uh, concerned by the sharpness of your blade. You're level five. You have two attack. Hmm. Yes. I do it again. Good. That you cut off the other tip of the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting. Shooting. A nice close look, right? <laughs> the dragon looks a little scared, but then starts to get his confidence back when he sees you miss twice. Sorry, dragon's high AC. No worries. All right, Lila. Uh, with the lack of any dim light and shadows, she's going to run forward and do her attacks. Do short sword hits, short sword hits, and then an arm an arm strike. Yes. All right, so <clears throat> two, two. All right. As you chop off. His horns, and he goes, Haha, he comes under and slices uh, several patches of scales off his neck and then punches him in the throat. Uh, this is Lila, the woman you met at uh, Allies with Rick. Oh, okay. All right. And now it is the dragon's turn. The dragon is going to use his breath weapon. So I need Dirk, Vale, Amos and Nemea, who are all just barely in range. Amos, make... do you have to teleport us right here? I need you all to make uh, dexterity saving throws. While I put in... <clears throat> all I tried to do was be diplomatic and I'm getting punished. Ooh. At least I, at least I got a good dexterity save. Oh no. 
Oh no! Oh no! Dirk, no! Dirk is the one innocent person here. By the way, Dirk, or Kyle, you're uh, you're rolling as Cedar Soul, not, not as Dirk. Yeah, I see. I fixed it. Okay. The second one was Vale, just so you know. Okay. Um, uh, Nemea, you. Everyone takes 36 points of damage, except for Nemea, who passed. What do I take? You eight. take uh, eight, 18. Oh, I am so going to kill Ornstein when we're done with this. Ornstein's just standing off to the side. Wow, because that wasn't me. <laughs> and then for his movement, the dragon. Does he actually points say that? Like, uh, he whispers it. <laughs> the dragon takes flight uh, up about 15 mm -hmm. feet, giving Dirk and Comet, or not Comet, Lila, an attack of opportunity. All right. Did you hear him say that? Actually, that's a tail. That's a tail. Yes, you heard him say that. Okay. <laughs> that, that was me. Oh, she's not gonna fight him right now. She's gonna be on the. She's gonna be on the point of anger. You know that like point of anger when someone's like laughing maniacally, but quietly though. That's kind of what she's mm -hmm. just like. <laughs> I found here. All right, roll the attack. Nope. <laughs> Dink. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. All right, and uh. I'm still figuring out the the, the 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 workings of this blade. Okay, it's okay. Lila misses hers too. Alright, now it is Garcenta's turn. How different is it from your last one? Oh, by the way, Garcenta uh, has grown legs for the time being. One, five, ten, fifteen, and she is going to cast Mass Healing Word on Nemea, Amos, Dirk, and Vale. You all get... By the way, um, according to the turn order, Am uh, Ornstein goes before I do, even though he has the smaller... Uh... I will switch. Okay, just making sure that that's... Okay. Yeah. You all get 12 hit points back from Garcenta's Mass Healing Word. 12? 12, yes. Yay! I'm almost back to full. Yes. Take care against this beast. Alright, Nemea, it's your turn. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um, let's see, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Just the way he was like, mm -hmm. I was eating at the time. Uh, I guess since I'm right behind Amos, I will actually give him some more health back since he took more, more damage than I did. Mm -hmm. So I will use Cure Wounds. Alright, uh, roll healing. Don't, don't call me BB again. I will strangle you. Okay, you get eight, eight points of health back. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, boy, it is. Ding, ding, ding. All right, is that all on the map, or are you going to move? Um, yeah, I am going to move also. That way I'm not in the dragon's breath line anymore. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to come up right here. I know I can move six spots, but that's all she's been for, for now. All right. One stein. One, two, one, two, three. Come up right behind it. You, Dirk, he's going to put a hand on your shoulder. He's going to say, Go get him. He casts fly on you. Oh. Uh, that is his third level spell. He has to keep focus on it. Use it. All right. All right. With that, uh, it is now back to Amos. All right, I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to put both my curses, my uh, sign of ill omen, bestow curse, and my and my shadow blade curse. Bestow curse is a touch spell. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put my shadow blade, shadow spell curse. Okay then. That's a bonus action, right? I believe so. It should say on your sheet. Um, 
Yeah. Um, all right, and then I'm going to shoot him with my Eldritch Blast, then. All right, I have two of them. That one hits. And then... Uh, not one of them hits. Yeah. And do I get uh, a gain bonus to my... I gain a proficiency bonus. Um, with what? Uh, because of the... Be Stokers, the Shadowfell. Oh, you add your proficiency to damage, so that's plus three, making it eleven damage. Okay. All right. And that's it. The first one misses, the second gets him in the side, and the scales go exploding off of his hide. Derek, it is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna look up at the the dragon, which just got struck by some some energy, and. I'm gonna say I'm tired of dragon street, and I'm gonna fly up at him, and I'm gonna try and attack him twice with my. Alrighty then, go for it. Yeah, ding, ding. <laughs> that hits. Alright, uh, and then Colossus Slayer and Hunter of Mark. So one d eight and one d six. Eight, one d six. Okay, so six. So that's a total of 17 points of damage on the first strike. As you carve up his belly. Yeah, I just... I swipe up past him. And mm-hmm. then I'm going to come back down. All right. Do it. And I miss. Ching. This one kind of slides off a bit of hardened scales up at his shoulder. Sparks fly off of his scales. He snarls at you as you're now kind of near his face. All right. Uh, oh, also, just a just an aesthetic thing. Mm-hmm. When it slash every time that the sword uh, contact, mm-hmm. like not just sparks, but like electricity that kind of saps off a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, into Lila is going to throw two darts. Hey, real oh. quick, Colt. Can yeah. I roll an all to see about to, to see if I know about how dragons fight, like their breath attacks and whatnot? Uh, sure. Roll knowledge. Okay. Will that just be um, uh, nature, I guess? Uh, art. Yeah, nature. Okay. Just wait okay. Um, uh, only if you had joined you on your back. Oh, I know nothing about dragons. Okay. All I know is they're big lizards. Okay. In fact, the fact that one breathed fire at me was actually surprising. Oh, uh, look at the mayor's roll. <laughs> the fact that he actually you breathed know- fire at me was shocking. You know less. Said nothing. All right. All right. So now let's see if he gets his breath weapon back. He does not. <laughs> I didn't even know dragons were real. I thought they were just things of legend. It's just a blank face. It's just a blank face. All right then. Um, well, in the absence of the ability to uh, use his breath weapon, he is going to attack the closest thing to him. Yeah. Wait. How does breath weapon get get uh, wiped out? No. Well, he didn't. It didn't recharge. Oh, okay. Can right. I tell Vale to displace him? Sure. Okay. I was. I wasn't gonna do that. I just because. Yeah, you told Vale to displace him earlier. That happened already. Does a fifteen hit you? Does it? I don't think it does. It does hit me. Okay. Just barely. Oh. Yeah. Right. So the bite hits. And does a thirteen hit you? Uh, no. And does uh, 12 hit you? Yep. Okay, so you just take the bite attack. So that's 2d4, 2d10. Right. Big difference. So you take 20 points of piercing damage. What? Oh shit! As it bites you. Well then. <laughs> I'm falling out of the sky, you guys. Are you dead? I'm dead. Yes. You're. Uh-oh. I'm at negative one. And two points oh. of acid. It's just part of the same attack. I wasn't going to do a thing. I actually done the spell set, but I guess we have to save Dirk now. Uh-oh. Whoops. It wouldn't be a thing with Dirk if you weren't having to save him. <laughs> okay. Well, go send us up. So you hit the ground. Uh, you, I'll say you weren't really high enough to take any significant damage. Uh, Garcenta's going to run over you. He's going to 
down to see what her biggest heal is. Right, she reaches down. Uh, as, as you're, you actually still have fly up because Ornstein's concentrating. Oh, okay. Okay, she's going to reach down and cast a very powerful heal wounds. Heal 22 points of damage. As she just does this quick prayer over you in a language you don't understand. Plus 22. Good that we have another healer in the party. I'm at the exact same point that I was before. Okay. All right, now it is Nemea's turn. Okay, she is going to move a bit closer to welcome. right here. Actually, to right here. Um, and she is going to use um, Healing Word on Dirk. I don't have Healing Word set. Never mind. She is going to move over to Dirk, and she's going to cast Cure Wounds on him. <laughs> Okay, roll and healing. After she does that, she's going to take a couple more, a couple steps back again. Alrighty right. then. And then she uses up about all okay. her movement. What would I do without you? I'd die. That's what would happen. She goes. Okay. I would use warning bond, but unfortunately, I don't have it set. Cool. Is it possible to like take a full, a full turn to a, to set a different spell? It takes one minute for every level the spell ha of the spell to set one. So if it's a second level, it takes two minutes to set it. Well, that would be, um, what, 20 rounds? Yep. <laughs> because why did make the spell last 20 rounds? <laughs> right. Wunstein going to look up at the dragon. He says, no one throws my friends on the ground. And he casts Lightning Bolt. This massive bolt of lightning flies out of his hand. That's a lot of damage. All right, let's see. It's a... 8d6! What level did he cast that at? It's a third level spell. Oh, okay. I thought it was the first level. I thought you were just casting it higher. Oh, oh, there's the dragon. Dragon rolled a 6. That's the wrong edit token. Dragon rolled a 6, and it's deck save is plus 5, so it fails. So, Dragon takes a huge lightning bolt right up the scar that Dirk just made in it. I imagine we're seeing light is like in between his skin. You, you can see part. You can see what looks like bone. Yeah, you see the skeleton it's flashing. Like <laughs> Worms. It's a very salty dragon. Amos, your turn again. Well, can you blame him? I'm we, stole from to... him. we stole from him, and now we're never trying to kill him. I'm going to double Eldritch Blast. You're gonna what? Sorry? Eldritch Blast. Oh, met one. Oh. Okay, the first one, you are aiming up, so hitting <coughs> other people is pretty much impossible. It does, you do nail a sparrow flying through the sky, and it falls down dead does, over there. Does the, sparrow, does the sparrow land on me? Um, let me roll for that. <laughs> I'm just curious. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> yeah, right on your head. Uh, the other way. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seth, Let's understand. Nemeo is kind of wants to kill Ornstein. She's just kind of mad at you, but she really wants to kill Ornstein. You're raising her rage level, though. <laughs> you hit again in the side of the dragon. It's looking a little desperate now. <sighs> More powerful worm. Derek, your turn. You still have flying. Okay. Still feeling greedy. I say that to Mm-hmm. Okay. I will steal everything you hold dear. Oh, boy. Free to take my katana to your face. Sure. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> the dragon bites. Your katana, make an athletics check. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> He's gonna swallow the sword. Let's go! Roll athletics. He rolled a three. <laughs> you you pull the katana out. Take your second attack. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we, do, we do have. We do get two actions now, don't we? 
I pull now now that I'm right in front of his face, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and step right in front. Roll to hit. Cool. Do we all get two actions, or is, or is it just Kyle and Soul? Oh no, he gets two attacks when he takes the attack action because he is level five ranger. Okay, so all right, so I don't get two attacks even if I use a regular attack. Your for you it would be like uh, your uh, what's it called the cantrip that makes radiant damage that now has two d eight instead of one d eight because you're level five. Oh, okay. And Amos and Eldritch Blast goes twice because he's level five. Right. So okay. our low level so our lower level stuff is now more powerful because we're level five. Yes. 66, and then d6 and d8. So 12, 17, 22 damage. You stab him in his right eye. Some acid, like, sprays out and, like, harmlessly hits your armor. Some of the blood gets on the sword, but it's just, it can't harm this perfect blade. And now it's Lila's turn. Lila again takes out two more darts. <laughs> the other eye seems to be doing a little stroby thing. Lila takes out two dodges and goes, Oh, you ugly worm. Miss and miss. Ching, ching. Throwing darts everywhere. It's turn. So it just got stabbed in the eye. I'm going to roll an intelligence check for this boy. He rolled a four. He rolled a four. He is going to he's going to take attacks on several different people. First, he is going to drop with you in his eye socket. Uh oh. We. What? You are still flying, so you do not hit the ground. What? But he is going. How is he? How is he looking right now, the dragon? Uh, not good. He has got a huge gash in his chest. He's got a sword in his right eye, uh, and g generally not good. So the dirk stuck in his face. Uh, he. He manages to land a claw attack on Dirk, and he's going to also attempt to claw Garcenta, and then he's going to try and bite Ornstein. So for you, you get 2d6 damage. You take Dirk takes 11 damage. Garcenta, Garcenta gets hit. She with a claw. She takes 16 damage. Yeah. It, it doesn't seem to harm her as much as you think it would for cutting a woman. <laughs> and then he's going to reach That's over so both both you and her and bite Ornstein with his 10-foot reach. Wow. Mm. Huh. And that hits. Sorry. Sorry, my boy. All right. And that feels too deep. And so he takes eight damage. And then 1d8, 8, eight plus 6 for 14. Ah, stupid, evil dragon! One sounds like punching him in the side of the face, despite not being terribly strong. How much Go skill does Orson turn. have naturally? Um, 35. Okay, good, because he's gonna need that. Gosenta is going to cast Healing Word on Dirk. You, you heal eight damage, Dirk. Thank you. And she's going to reach over and pet the veil and cast cure wounds on him. And he heals eight. Goes, good kitty, good kitty. We'll make it through this. And she's like slowly massaging the wound on her side. Uh, now it is Nemea's turn. Hmm. Hmm. He's on the ground right now. Uh, um, I don't actually want to attack the dragon, honestly. <laughs> um, Dirk, are you still hurt? I'm not that hurt. No. What? <laughs> I'm not that hurt. I have over half health. But I'm, but I'm by much? Yeah, I'm at 29 and 43. I know it's true. She's gonna come over and she's gonna use her secure wounds again. That's all she's done this whole fight. But to be fair, she's a cleric. She's meant to be a supportive character. She's also a trickery cleric, so she must be stealthy. Yes, that heals. Yes, that hits. Roll, roll healing. You get another eight health. <laughs> Guys. 
Yeah. Oh, one second. Yeah. Make a come check. I know you missed. I, I know you can start from Dungeons and Dragons, Kyle. I knew it. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what Dirk says. Oh. Oh no, Ornstein, or you lose flying, Dirk. Ornstein loses concentration. <laughs> well, you were ne next to the ground anyway, so. Yeah, but he wasn't expecting it. Okay. Okay. Ornstein's turn. Storyteller. Uh, I can do that maybe once more, but I kind of don't want to. Uh, let's just do this. And he's going to hold his hand out and do Scorching Ray. Ooh, miss. Hit. Hit. So the first one flies overhead. The second, the second gets the dragon in the eye where you had hit him. The third hits his chest where it's exposed. Eight and seven. This boy, ah. the dragon's kind of recoiling, kind of considering taking a different course back. Amos, your turn. I'm gonna run up to him. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna pull out my sword and I'm gonna slice him. All right, make your attack. All right, that is it. Hit. Yep, that hits. Do I do I add my proficiency to this one too? Since I uh, not uh, to this damage. It does have it has something else that you don't know about though. So, and six, and all right. You, you you slice through its black scales, and its blood just starts seeping out of it. It's like cutting through butter with this blade. <laughs> he has like a smaller one-handed that thing. All right, Dirk, it is your turn. The dragon is currently grounded in front of you. Yeah, and he's looking like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the dragon looks like it might flee. All right, um, Dirk is gonna uh, look back at Bale and say, "Bale, strike!" You know, to to get him to uh, jump over. And okay, Bale jumps over. He gets one tentacle attack. That sounds so wrong. All right, so roll tentacle. You sound wrong. Roll for tentacles. I'm just saying, why you train a it isn't that little hit. kitten to to turn into tentacle hentai? That is 15. How does Vale want to do this? Uh, Vale is jumping over and, like, jumping over Dirk. Hey, hey, Kyle? Other eye. Kyle, okay. could you move closer to Colt's microphone so we can hear you? Okay, sorry. One more time. Vale is jumping over Dirk to uh, attack the other eye that isn't, like, blinded. Okay. Okay. All right. So Vale, having grown slightly larger since the last time you saw him, um, Dirk bends down. Vale jumps off his back and onto the dragon's face, digging those tentacles into the eye, biting, scratching, blood pouring everywhere. The, bl the dragon, now blind, slowly falls down into unconscious, bleeding out. So it's not dead, it's unconscious. Yes, but it will probably, it will likely die if it receives no medical. Basically, it's making its death saves right now. Yeah. And he, he gladly accepts the pets. All right. You're way better at this than you know. He nods. All right. And with that, combat has ended. Some of the uh, uh, deer centaur kind of come back out from the trees, looking over at everything. I um, take my katana and just kind of fling it a little bit. All the blood, with a single fling, all the blood is off, and the blade is flawless. Seems to the side. Yeah. It's practically effortless with this thing. Oh, and then I cheat oh, I use my thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. What you doing? I'm, at, I'm hitting Ormos very hard. Uh, uh, not Emin, mean, sorry. Ornstein very hard in the head right now. Okay. Ornstein takes eight damage. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Nemea, what was that for? She goes, you are a fucking moron! She says, uh, she says, if you hadn't stolen gold, if you hadn't uh, brought this danger to us, we wouldn't have been put in danger in the first place. You, because of a, because of a pissing contest between you and a dragon, we all, we were all in grave danger. And you were, she's, she's gonna hit him again. Okay. 
<laughs> Dirk seems uninterested in what's happening in that. He's just inspecting his equipment uh, and uh, pulling out a dagger. Let me actually see if that hits. Uh, his armor class is 16, so that one that one he manages to, to step out of the way. Like, look, the gold was stolen anyway. They all steal it. She goes, I don't care. You actually don't even know where the gold came from. You're, this is all assumptions based on what you think about it. Based on what I know, that's all they do. They don't earn it. They don't work. I have spent a lot more time around dragons than you have, Nemea. Believe me. Uh, as you go to do that one, uh, he is actually going to retaliate if you continue doing this. That's the last one she's going to do. After that, she's actually going to turn to Dirk and say, is the dragon dead? It's just unconscious for now. It's dying. It's bleeding out. Do you see how much blood is around here? She goes, yes, I see that very clearly. Yes. She goes, I'm going to, so she goes, it was about to leave. I'm going to heal it so we can leave now. You're going to heal it? Yes, I am, and then it's, gonna, then it's going to leave. It was already about to run away. It was very obvious it was about to run. All right, no matter. I, I, I pull out my dagger. I have my dagger out at this point, and I'm like, that was about yeah, to serve it. She goes, yeah, I don't it's care. It's evil. It's evil. I'm good. I'm going to. I don't think She's looking at Dirk's like, to live. do you want to stop me? <laughs> I'm going to put my dagger away. I'm going to pull out my katana, and I'm going to stab the, the dragon in the face. All right, that's an immediate two failed death saving throws. You, Can I try and cut its head off with my katana? Do you attack it as well? Yeah. Nah, do you do anything? No, they go ahead and attack it. All right. Um, uh, with uh, Amos's um, stab into the neck, you feel a sort of power leave the dragon and get and be consumed by your shadowy blade. And the dragon, the last breath of it, just leaves it. And it's gone. Dragons consumed by greed cannot be saved. She looks at him and says, you also know nothing about, about that dragon or what it did. All you know is what Ornstein assumed of it. And, you know, I he's know saying enough. it wanted to kill us. I don't, I don't, and, he goes, I don't and she goes, honestly, I don't blame him, because we stole from him. And it stole from whoever it stole from. That's so. what you think. You don't know that. How else does a dragon earn money? It could easily be found it from a dungeon, just like we do. I, I doubt it. No matter, you're being naive, Ornstein says, and starts walking she away. She goes, do you want me to hit you in the, in the head again? He, do he doesn't respond. He goes, come on, Tempest is this way. So, like, Dirk, should we, can we, like, cut its head off? Roll survival. There it is. <laughs> All right, excellent. Uh, Amos, Keep if you... doing this while the big ring is happening. <laughs> All right, you get a black dragon hide. Uh, you can fit the head in your bag of holding to make for a good trophy later, and you get enough hide to make some nice, probably nice armor. You get claws, wing webbing, cool stuff. And some bones, for may maybe later. By the way, Matt, hmm? Dirk is being very abrasive about this for some reasons. Oh, trust me, I understand. I also understand why Ornstein doesn't like dragons. Trust me, I get it. Nemea doesn't, and Nemea doesn't care, even if she did know. Okay. Remember, I am playing my character, okay? Like, I'm, not, I'm not legitimately mad, but Nemea is. I'm just playing okay. my character very well. I feel. Okay. All right then. With the dragon slain, you Amos. can. Amos. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, Dirk just calls up to Amos and he says, "This head, it, it'll be yours. I'm just putting it in my bag for now." Oh, and keep in mind that while Ornstein was going down the path and while they were doing whatever they were doing, Nemea was over by a tree, just sort of sitting by herself. Okay. All right then. How heavy is this head? Uh, it's like maybe 50 pounds. I don't know, but I'm not a dragonologist. I don't know the weight of dragon heads. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, you reconvene with the Centaur tribe and continue your journey towards the town of Tempest. Ornstein kind of 
asks a healer there to help patch him up after the beating he took from Nemea. Yeah, Nemea isn't talking to anyone or healing anyone at the moment. Unless the centaur is hurt, I suppose. Mm. No, they, they were kind of in hiding, kind of preparing in case y'all failed. Yeah, if any of them are still injured from before, if she couldn't heal before, she'll heal them, but that's all she's doing at the moment. She's not speaking to anyone at the moment. Alright. And with that, the day draws to a close after a bit more traveling. You rest with the centaurs once more and wake up the next day. Uh, after a little more traveling up ahead, you can finally see the walls of human civilization. The city of Tempest. Uh, stretching out on like the edge of a bay that uh, uh, leads to a very wide river leading to the ocean uh, just north of the vortex. It's a, ma a major trading hub. You can see huge towers off near the center of the city and these great walls protecting it from any invading force that might approach. I'm not looking uh, forward to this. Right. Uh, as you approach cr closer, also, you notice... Also, as, as we're getting what? closer, Nemea's like putting up like a hood and stuff, like hiding herself. Very okay. clearly. You, you, fi you find something suitable. Uh, the tribe eventually... Goes their separate ways as they're heading further further north to one of their stomping grounds, and you head closer to the city. N Nemea actually considers going with them for a moment. <laughs> as you approach, Nemea, you can see the banners of this town and its crest. The crest contains uh, what looks to be like a simplified version of a Kirin. The golden rays flying off of it. A Kirin. A Kieran, like the one hey. who would help you, is on I their sigil. Oh. I unicorn. rolled one of those. Oh yeah, Amos, Rody, and Ra. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> to his dismay. I was playing with Ayn Ra. Uh, tomato, tomato. Okay. Alright. Alright. And you begin approaching. What is it we're exactly we're doing again, you guys? That's what Dirk says. The man says, honestly, I'm not sure. Well, that Kieran we found agreed to help her care her name. I see. One sentence. And it's not going to work. Oh, y'all are all healed up. Oh, yay. Right, we are right. I forgot health is a thing we actually need to worry about. You know, surviving and whatnot, you know, being able to live. It whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's. Healed up, long rest. Okay, that's strange. So, we're trying to help. Uh, Ayn Ra, like with a favor. Uh, well, Ayn Ra help, agreed to help clear Nemea's name, as he is a big proponent of justice, and her being falsely accused is not justice, so he wants... What was she accused of again? Uh, murder. And, and, um, and other things as well, but murder was the first thing. Where mm -hmm. are we on this map? I don't see us. Okay. There. Huh? Here we are. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom out. All right, as y'all are moving forward. Oh, there they are. Okay. Hello, oh, boy. Someone appears to you. Yes. Excuse me. Can serves. Kind of stepping out from behind the tree. Up here. I say that's far enough. Oh, this. Okay. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to spook you. Uh, just. Uh, wondering if you uh, knew the way up north. I've kind of lost lately. Do I know the way up north? Um, it's north. Uh, <laughs> you, you, there's nothing. You, you're going north. Yes. Uh, thank you. Um, was also wondering if you'd happen to seen a, a tiefling lady around here. She, she nope. kind of lost a bet to me. Owes me a bit of money. Not that I can tell. No. Okay. What'd she uh, look well, like? Roll deception. Uh, uh, blue skin, kind of high and mighty. That, that type of lady. Uh, Wait, hang on, do I recognize this person? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound familiar. Uh, Amos also rolled deception. Um, uh, Cole, do I recognize this person? Um, are you are you getting close enough to see them? I'm just kind of trying to glance at them very barely out of the corner of my hood. Perception check. 
Very barely. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna start to walk, like, walk past them. Okay, do I recognize their voice at the very least? You do not recognize the voice, nor do you recognize them. Okay, then uh, never mind. Alright, um... Alright, if y'all keep going, I need Nemea to make a deception check to try and keep her disguise up. I'm okay. just gonna put my arm around Nemea. Okay. That works for me. Stay, like, you know, where, basically, where it, their line of... They can't... They have to see through me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do I have advantage because of that, please? Um, yes, he is helping you. Okay, good. Because so that would advantage, I'd be screwed right now. <laughs> Thank you, Dirk. <laughs> Course. Also, by the way, okay. I'm resetting one of my spells so I can have Warding Bond available now, since I have my my Bond back. Okay. Is this is like a wink. Yeah. Yeah. So like, a, this is since this is a day later, Dirk's just kind of like sorry about the dragon. The guy kind of looks closely at you and the woman you're with. He's like, "Is that?" And then as you get far away, uh, Dirk, make a perception check, please. Seven, 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 eight. You notice, as as you're getting away, you see back, and you see, like, as you are about, let me move y'all, up here, he re he seems to realize something. He's like, ah, ah. By, by the way, um, Dirk, whenever you, 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 you apologize for the dragon, she did not say anything! What? The man did not say anything whenever Dirk apologized for killing the dragon. So I'll point that out. <laughs> okay. Alright. And you... Dirk glances back and sees him, like, do some hand signals up towards a tree and wander off. You... Um, I, I, after seeing that, I say, I think he just spotted us. He could pick up oh, the page. great. All right. You make your way inside the city. Oh, they just let us in? Um, there are no guards that you can see. The door, the gate is open. That's... And odd. I thought they, you know, they would have not been letting people in, you know, considering recent events. Can I do a perception check? Mm-hmm. Perception check. You hear rustling in the trees behind you, and something that sounds like boots hitting the, hitting the ground. I'm going to pull out my bow, and I'm going to point it in the direction of the sound, and I'm going to say, come on out, I know you're there. Okay. Now hold on, the ones I need to control need to get up. I mean, it's like, we really shouldn't be here. Hold on, let me position things. Uh, coming out from the trees, you see two more individuals holding crossbows and uh, short blades. What business have you? Oh, I, nothing major. Just need to have a look at your tiefden friend there. Make sure she's not a wanted criminal. She, she's not a teaser. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't play Tom Laddie. You're not good at it. Uh, oh, oh, wait, hang on. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, so Nemea's gonna sort of step behind Dirk a bit, um, where Vale is, basically. Um, and she's actually going to start casting a spell, um, hopefully without them noticing. Okay, roll a stealth check. Okay, you you will go unnoticed. Okay, so basically what she's going to do is she's going to cast, um, what is it? Uh, invoke duplicity. Okay. So that a another form of her, let me go ahead and pull it up. It's right here. Oh, whoops. Uh, let me go ahead and put it in the chat. Okay. Let so, me throw out another Nemea. Yeah, and, but she's going to specifically pull, put, it, put it like over like over here. Okay. okay. And that form is immediately going to turn, start, is like going to like gasp and then start running away. And it's the like, real enemy is going to be like, oh my god, look over there! And that particular clone has its hood pulled back, so it's very obviously a blue tiefling. The, they, they hear the gasp, see that. Um, what's your spell save, DC? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, let me go check it out. Um, 14. This one's kind of low. 14? All right. Uh, this one immediately turns back when he sees, when he hears the gas, sees her. And you see him go, it's her! That's the one! That's the one! Get her! 
and they all immediately, like, a wave of confusion runs through them. And then, I'm gonna roll some intelligence checks. Two. Come on. Three. Okay. Right. Two of them immediately give chase to her. And she's also uh, going to cast um, some sort of spell at them through the duplicity form. Um, okay. She's going to cast um, Sacred Flame. Why not? Okay. Just randomly just out, out one of them as they're chasing her. To try and okay. draw the others in. Okay, going to roll a save for him. Alright, he fails. And takes eight damage. Gah! Keep going, get her! What is the maximum range on that? Uh, 120 feet. Okay. Um, okay, uh, you can get them pretty far away. Yeah. So, what are the other two doing? Um, the other three are, um, seem to realize the ruse and are not going along with it. Okay. Uh, uh, do I realize this? Do you realize they're, what? That the, do I realize that they're not catching on? Another? You realize some of them are not. Okay. So the one right here, he was the one that was talking to me a second ago, right? Uh, the one that was talking actually ran after her. Oh. So the, these three kind of watch those go and stay on you. Your friend was right. I suck at this. And I'm going to use um, Pass Without a Trace. Okay. That gives you plus 10 to spell. So it doesn't make you invisible. Yeah, what? Doesn't it? I thought it did. That's invisibility that makes you invisible. What? Pass without traces for like long stealthing sections. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll use. Okay, I'm gonna use two things then. Okay. Use two things. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, first, I'm gonna use a fog cloud. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just realized we've been recording for an hour and three minutes. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this recording here. <laughs> so with, with the puff of smoke, to be continued. <laughs> Yes, thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, drop a comment, leave a like, subscribe for more content. Subscribe to Kyle, because he's back. There's links to his stuff down in the description box below, as well as other links you should really check out. And with all being said, you may require to have, fantastic, to have an absolutely fantastic day. You have no choice. No, so you cool this video. Stay for good, everyone. Ciao. Mm, later. Bye. Bye.